What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at this Redodo 40 amp MPPT charge controller. So another charge controller from another one of the bigger LiPo 4 battery brands that you probably have heard of. But last MPPT I did was from Power Queen and it was a 30 amp. So let's see what this one looks like. Let me get this opened up. Manual install instructions. And wow, this one is a uh, quite a bit bigger it appears and so far yeah it's got that same kind of rubbery I, I, again I don't know what it's called soft touch feel and a kind of, of a weird bluish but powder coated heat sink on the back pretty big heat sink and I believe this is Bluetooth but we'll, we'll confirm that so this is rated for 12 or 24 volt Again, 40 amp max current. Uh, input voltage is 100 volts, and max input power is going to be 600 watts at 12 volts or 1200 watts at 24 volts. You got a temperature sensor connection here, your solar panel connection, your battery connection, and if you want to run a DC load off of that, and an RS-485 port, and that's probably going to be for some type of Bluetooth dongle, I'm guessing, unless the Bluetooth is built into this controller. but. Let's figure that out. So we got your temperature sensor, and I don't know if this is, can be used as a low temp disconnect feature or not. We will check that out. And then some, looks like just mounting hardware, mounting bolts. Okay, yeah, so a lot of different brackets to, looks like to stand off from the wall because you don't typically want to put this heat sink right up against a wall. You kind of want to, to give it about an inch or so gap to allow air to flow behind it. So that's what these little um, these little L brackets are going to be for, is to stand off from the wall where you attach it to. And a couple of heat shrink battery lug terminal covers, but I don't see a Bluetooth dongle. So I'm thinking that the Bluetooth is actually built into this. But let's get this thing hooked up to a battery and see how it goes. All right, so we got the charge controller hooked up to my little TimGut battery, and I'm using this battery because it is Bluetooth, and I'm going to be able to monitor how many actual amps or watts are being put into this battery. So we can kind of determine the efficiency on this charge controller, but one thing I will say, guys, is that Redodo does a really good job with their instruction manual, and you're going to walk through this with me, but I'm going to go ahead and try to download the Bluetooth app. So the Bluetooth dongle, whatever you want to call it, is actually built into that charge controller. So... I'm going to go into my camera, see if we can download this, uh, click to download the application, and we got the Redodo app right there, Get. Okay, let's go see if we can get this thing connected, privacy policy, accept, alright, which one is this going to be? Uh, now we got to go find it with all of these Bluetooth devices. Let's see if the instructions, after I was just touting how good they are, tell us what the name of this thing is. Yep, okay. B-T-R-O-C-C -C dot 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 dot. Uh, let's see if that's here. Yep, B-T-R-O-C-C -C 240. Connect. There we go. Okay, now the battery is showing up. 13.4 volts. And that is what I am showing on the TimGut battery is 13.4 volts. So let's see if we can kind of do any type of configuration on this in terms of charging parameters and all that good stuff. Let's see. Parameter settings. So it looks like this comes with the default lithium iron setting already installed. So I'm just going to keep it at that for right now. It's got the boost charge voltage set to 14.4, over discharge set to 12.4, over discharge disconnect to 10.8. So that's typical for a, a LiPo 4 battery. So I'm just going to keep it at that. But it looks like you can change it, but confirm enable settings, unlock before setting, confirm. Okay, so you can select it to gel, 
lead acid, lithium, or a user specified type battery. So whatever you're using, this should work. But I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna keep it on lithium iron phosphate for right now. Hit confirm, go back to real time monitoring. Now, one thing I also wanna point out is that temperature sensor that I showed you at the unboxing is not used for a low temp disconnect feature. It states it on basically the first page of this manual that this temperature sensor is for lead acid battery only. The sensor measures the temperature of the battery and uses the data for very accurate temperature compensation. Do not use this sensor when charging lithium batteries. So it doesn't look like we'll be able to use this as kind of, of a makeshift low temperature disconnect feature. So that's kind of, of a bummer, but so let me get, I've got a 400 watt solar panel. It's not gonna get up to 40 amps, but I do wanna see if we can determine the efficiency off of this. So let me get that solar panel hooked up. All right, so I don't have this hooked up yet, but my meter's showing that panel's pushing out 42.7 volts. So let's get this thing hooked up and see how quickly it uh, recognizes it. There we go. Okay, we got the solar panel icon. It is charging into the battery. Okay, this is showing 33.7 volts. 33.6 volts off of the meter, so that's really close. This battery's at 100%. So, I'm gonna hook up my inverter, discharge this battery, and then we'll come back, test the efficiency. Okay, folks, so I've got the battery. This is actually at 100% charge, so I thought it was more discharge than that, but I do have my small inverter hooked up to it, and I'm running an incandescent load. But you can see here on the app, hopefully, I am inputting 276 watts from solar, and that lines up pretty close to this meter, 286 watts. So we're only about nine or 10 watts off from this meter to what is actually being input into the battery. So I say that's pretty, pretty efficient. And this is showing 30.9 volts, 31.09 volts. So very, very close. All right, folks, so round two of testing. I depleted this battery just a little bit more to hopefully get a little bit more accurate reading. And according to the Red Auto app, I'm pulling, or I'm inputting 263 watts. My meter showing 273 watts. So let's do the math on that real quick. See if we can get the efficiency. That's almost 96% efficient, folks. I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, let me double check the Timgot battery to make sure that uh, we're inputting what we think we are. I'm inputting 276 watts right now, and this is showing 276 watts. So something's just a hair off, but not by much. I'm not, I'm not having any huge loss that I sometimes typically see from a charge controller to the battery. So overall, I think this is a pretty decent little setup. Now guys, this right now, Redodo on Amazon, I'd say it's a pretty good deal. You can get this thing for 159 bucks on Amazon right now for a 40 amp, 600 watt MPPT charge controller with built-in Bluetooth. So I'd say right now I'm pretty impressed with this little guy or big guy. So I think it's a pretty sweet little, uh, little charge controller. So anyway, folks, there you go. This is the Redodo MPPT 40 amp. So hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.